snarling silver cracks of lightning flash across the black sky. The brooding wind whips at the heavy rain. The water churns itself into waves of white-capped anger. The elements rage. As here in the storm-swept sea, man plots his age-old crime against man. Murder. Denny and I were out on the west coast on a weekend holiday of deep-sea fishing. Well, it looks as though we're going to have some luck going, sir. Yes, better head it back for Catalina, Denny. Even at top speed, Catalina should be a good three-hour run from here. And this storm is going to cut our rate down considerably. I know, but I'd rather not trust this boat to ride us out of the twist of blowing toward us. Swing her around and throttle as much as you'll take. Very well, sir. Better switch on the head beams. It'll be as black as pitch in a few moments. All right, sir. Captain Drummond. What is it, Denny? Look, sir. Up ahead in our headlight beam. There's a man in the water. Hurry, give it more speed. This is all she'll safely take, sir. He's gone, sir. I don't see him. Swing to your right. There, there he is, about 50 feet ahead. I see him, sir. All right. Now try to hold it to this course. I'm trying, sir, but the waves are forcing us off. Just a few feet more. Quickly now, cut the motor down. You see him, sir? Yes, he's off the port side here. Be careful, sir. We're turning into the lee of the waves. I've got him, Denny. Come here, help me put... You, sir. Never we... mind the wheel. Come on, hurry. Yes, sir. All right, now grab his other arm. I have it, sir. Up. There. All right, now let him down easy, right here on the bench. He's certainly a lucky fellow, Captain Drummond. We reached him just in time. He couldn't have lasted much longer. Is Denny, that? he isn't as lucky as you think. What, sir? He's dead. Dead? But, but I don't understand, sir. He was swimming when we first saw him. He was afloat when, when you grabbed him in the water. He wasn't drowned. No, he wasn't drowned, Denny. Look here, this bullet hole in his chest. He was murdered. It's almost unbelievable, Captain Drummond. Well, that corpse below in the cabin is very believable, Denny. But where could he have come from? We're at least 60 miles from land. He was evidently on a boat. Probably a large one. A large one? How do you know that, sir? These papers. Where did you get them? They were in his trouser pocket. His name is Ralph Simpson. These papers are Siemens credentials. Then he was working aboard the ship? Yes. Well, that does clear things up a bit, eh? We should be able to trace the name of the vessel since it was on when we get back to shore. Yes, Denny. If we get back to shore. If. Right now, I'm more concerned about some unpleasant facts other than Ralph Simpson's murder. Look at our gas gauge. It's dropping much too quickly. The storm is rising in intensity every minute. Captain Drummond, look! Look, sir! To our starboard! Lights! Across the reach of darkness, I saw them. Dim little yellow lights that flickered and danced. Through the mounting fury of the waves, we pushed slowly in their direction. Gradually, the lights grew larger and larger. Gradually, as we moved closer and closer, the outlines of a good-sized yacht took shape. All right, Denny. We're coming alongside. Drop the speed. Yes, sir. How's that, sir? A little more. That's it. I can make out a Jacob's ladder. It's hanging up ahead a bit. Cut your motor. I've got it. Bring the line here. Coming, sir. We'll tie up to this ladder. Here you are, sir. I take an oath, sir. Right here and now, never, never again will I be terra firma. Yes, Denny, once you get back to it. Well, the size of this yacht, I'd say, makes that a certainty, sir. All right, now. Our boat is tied fast. Up we go. You first. With pleasure, sir. I leave our floating matchstick with no regrets. Better spare your comments when we get on deck, Denny. These ladders have 
no respect for land legs. All right, yes, sir. Let me give you a hand. Thanks, I, I can make it. Well, now the storm can rage its worst, sir. We're safe and sound. That's odd. What, sir? The chart house over there. What about it? No one's in it. It's empty. There's no one at the wheel of the ship. Well, they're probably just letting it ride out the storm. If they are, Betty. It certainly is in an unorthodox manner. Come on. Where are we going, sir? The cabin's on the rear deck. After all, we owe someone thanks for this nautical hitchhike. That's right, so we do, sir. Wait! Wait! Why did you two come out on deck? Don't you realize? What are you doing here? Where did you come from? I'm sorry to shock you this way. Who are you? Our boat was caught in the storm. We tied up alongside and took the liberty of coming aboard. My name is Drummond, Captain Hugh Drummond. And I am... You shouldn't have come on here. You shouldn't have come. Believe me, we prefer not to intrude, but certainly... Get off the ship. Oh, now, see here, young lady, there are certain rules of the sea that require you to give us Get refuge. Get off. Do you hear? Get off. I'd like to discuss our leaving with the captain, so if you'll be kind enough to show me to him... Listen, you fools, I'm telling you this for your own good. Get off while there's still a chance. Death aboard this ship. There's death on it everywhere. All right. Now go on with your story. But he'll find me here. He'll kill me just like he'll kill the others. I know it, Captain Drummond. I know it. We can't escape. Now don't worry. You're safe here. Denny is guarding the door to this chart house. Nothing can stop him. He'll kill us all, every one of us. Don't you see we haven't a chance? Maybe you will have a chance. If you'll just try to get hold of yourself so I can get some sense out of all this. What? What can I tell you? First, who are you? Mrs. Hilton. Claire Hilton. Well, now that's a start. Now about the killer and his victims. We were invited aboard this ship for a weekend cruise. Who do you mean by we? My husband, Charles Hilton, and his three business partners. Robert Stevens. Sidney Kramer and George Wilson. They have a brokerage firm on the coast. And your host, who is he? We didn't know at the time. What do you mean by that? Well, Charles and I had just returned from Chicago. My husband suffered a stroke last January. He lost the use of his legs. I took him to Chicago to see a specialist. His answer was the same as all the others. There was no hope. Charles will be confined to a wheelchair the rest of his life. Well, as I was saying, we had just returned home when we received the invitation to come on this cruise. The invitation was signed, Mr. X. Mr. X? Yes. We thought it was some sort of a lark. And Mr. Hilton's partners received the same invitation? Yes. We all decided to accept. I thought the trip would be good for Charles. We came aboard this morning. Our host didn't make his appearance. We tried to find out from the captain who he was. But he wouldn't tell us. He said we'd find out tonight. And you did? Charles did. My husband was alone in his cabin. He came in to talk to him, to tell him that none of us would return from the trip alive. The captain told him that? No, 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 no. Our, our host, Richard Gaines, oh. he said he'd come back someday. He said he'd come back and get them all. Look here, I realize you're very upset, but I still don't understand. Just who is this Richard Gaines? He was a junior member in the brokerage firm. Gaines manipulated a security fraud. My husband and his partners found out about it. Gaines asked him for a chance to cover his swindle. They refused. He was arrested and given five years. And now he's out of prison? Yes. We'd all forgotten about him, and now he's aboard this boat, and he'll kill us all, just as he told Charles. Did you tell the ship's captain the facts? No. Why not? We couldn't find him. We looked everywhere. We couldn't find him. We don't Mrs. know... Mrs. Hilton. Yes. The captain, his name was Ralph Simpson. Is that right? Yes, yes. How do you know? I found him. He's in the cabin of my boat, dead. What? That's right. Simpson was murdered. James. He wanted him out of the way so he could do to us what he wanted. So it appears... And now, Mrs. Hilton, I should like to meet your husband and his associates. Charles is in his cabin. He's locked himself in. And the others? In the main cabin. There... Yes, Denny, what is it? There's someone down on the deck. I just 
just caught glimpses of him slipping in and out of the shadows. I'm sure he's making his way toward this chart house. Game. It's he. What is she talking about, sir? Who is this game? I'll explain later, Denny. You stay here, Mrs. Hilton. No, 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 no. Please don't leave me alone. Please don't leave me here. All right, all right. You walk back behind us. Come on, Denny. Where did you spot him last? He dashed behind that light bulb just ahead, sir. Wait, wait. What is it, sir? There's a figure coming from behind the light bulb. He's coming this way. It's game, Captain Drummond. He's coming. Quiet, to... quiet. Don't move. We'll wait till he comes abreast, and then... Sir! Stand back, don't move. All right, come on. No shots, sir. Evidently, those shots weren't meant for us, Denny. How do you know? Because the bullets found their mark. Right here, Denny, by the rail. The man! The man who came from behind the light bulb. It's Robert. It's Robert Stevens. He's... He's dead, sir. Yes? Of course he's dead. We'll all be dead. Oh. <laughs> None of us will get off this ship alive. None of us. I'll be back in a moment. A mad killer lurked in the shadows aboard a storm-tossed boat. Two victims had already met their death, but there were more on his schedule. I had Denny watch over Mrs. Hilton in the chart house while I went to the main cabin to see what I could do for the others. I told Sidney Kramer and George Wilson what had happened to the ship's captain and their associate, Robert Stevens. I told him not to go out. I told Stevens not to go. That's right. He might still be alive if he listened to you, Kramer. Sure. In union, there's strength. Let's all stick in here and get it together. Oh, shut up, Wilson. You've had too much. Kramer's right, Wilson. I suggest you hold off on that stuff a bit. You do, do you? Well, who asked you into this? This is our party, and I'm making it a good one for me. Drink, but tomorrow we die. Yeah. Tomorrow, the next hour, the next minute. You're not helping things, Wilson. You're just making them worse for yourself. Why don't you be a good guy and do what Captain Drummond says? Yeah? Why? Because, you fool, maybe he can get us all off this spot. Maybe he can get James before he gets us. With what? What is he going to get him with? There might be ways. Uh, don't kid yourself, Drummond. Nobody's swimming home from here. Nobody. Not even you. Stevens thought he could duck him. How did Stevens look when you found him, Drummond? Go ahead. Tell us about it again. Kramer here might like to hear it again. Stop it. Kramer. Yes, Captain Drummond? What about Charles Hilton? Has either one of you seen him? Well, we tried to get in to talk to him. He wouldn't open his cabin door. He said he wouldn't open it for anybody. No, sir. Charlie Hilton's got it all figured out. He's just going to sit in his cabin nice and tight. He's not going to open his door for anybody. <laughs> no, sir. Not even for games. Wouldn't he let his wife in? No one. Not even Mrs. Charlie Hilton would he let in. Not even her. <laughs> well, that's a sweet husband for you. Why don't you get out of here, Wilson? Well, that's a great idea. That's the best idea you ever had, Kramer. Well, why didn't I think of that? Wilson. What do you want? Where are you going? To my cabin. I'm going to bed. Wilson, wait. I get your hands off me. Wilson, for heaven's sake, listen to him. There's a chance I can save you if you'll do as I say. I'll take my own chances my own way. Now, get your hand off. Wilson, wait. Kramer, you stay here. Well, what are you going to do? I'm bringing Wilson back. But well, what about me? You can't leave me alone here. I'll be back just as soon. No, don't you see? If, if I'm alone, he'll kill me. That's what he's waiting for. That's just what he's waiting for. Ah! Wilson, come on with me. I... I don't see him. Look at him, John. Wilson! Wilson! Wait, wait, hold it. Oh, aren't you going to look for Wilson? We don't have to look any further, Kramer. What? What are you doing? What did you pick up there? See for yourself. It rolled up against the rail. The bottle? Yes, the bottle Wilson had with him. But, but where is he? Are you all right? Uh, yes, Denny, I'm all right. What happened? Mrs. Hilton and I heard the scream from the charter. It was Wilson. James. Yes. Where is Wilson, sir? Somewhere in those waves below, Denny. Wilson was pushed over this rail to his death. seems to be subsiding somewhat, sir. It may be just a temporary lull, but 
In case it's a real break, we're going to take advantage of it. What do you have in mind, sir? I noticed there were some gasoline tins aft. Get a rope and lower them to our boat. If the storm does let up, I'm taking Mrs. Hilton and Kramer back to Catalina. Well, what about Charles, Captain Drummond? What about my husband? Well, naturally, he's coming with us, too. If you can get him out of that cabin, he's locked himself in. I'll get him out. Now, Denny, you go ahead and take care of those gasoline tins. Yes, sir. Right away. All right, Mrs. Hilton. Now, Kramer, you and I will see what we can do about prevailing on your husband. Charles' cabin is the last one at the end of this corridor. We'll let Mrs. Hilton do the talking, Kramer. We'll try it that way first. All right. Here it is. Very well. Go ahead, Mrs. Hilton. Charles! Charles, it's Claire. Let me in. Charles, let me in, please. There's someone here to help us. It's all right, Charles. You can open the door now. Drummond, he won't answer me. He probably thinks it's a trick. Hilton, Claire's telling the truth. Open the door. We do have someone to help us. We can beat James at his own game now. Unlock the door, Hilton. Let us in. It's no use. I know how he is. I know how stubborn he can be. All right. Stand back, Mrs. Hilton. Kramer, you get over here. Right. What are you going to do? We're breaking this door in. Get ready, Kramer. Drive into it with all your might. I'm ready. All right. Let's go. All right, harder. It's starting to give. Another one should do it. Well. Charles, are you all... Captain Drummond, he's not here. Charles isn't here. Captain Drummond! Captain Drummond! Back here, Denny, on the aft deck. I've been looking all over for you, sir. We were making a search below deck. Search? For what? My husband. He wasn't in the cabin. Hilton, too, sir? Yes, my Charles, too. Now, I told you, Mrs. Hilton, there's a chance that your husband may be all right. Of course, Claire. Maybe he decided to hide someplace else. Don't you worry. We'll find him, and, and you'll see he'll be just fine. No, it's no use. It happened to Charles just like it did to the others. But his wheelchair wasn't in the cabin. That means he got out of there. If Gaines had gotten in there, he would have... Well... It looks as if the storm is letting up, Denny. Did you take care of the gasoline? No, sir. That's why I was looking for you. What do you mean? Well, I got the tins as far as the Jacob's Ladder, and then I discovered it. I can't understand how it happened. Denny, what in the devil are you talking about? Our boat, sir. It wasn't tied to the bottom of the ladder where we left it. The boat's gone. Captain Drummond. Yes, Kramer. Come here. What is it, Look over there, across the deck, at the rail. Why, sir, it's an empty wheelchair. Yes, empty. Jane's got Hilton. And now, that leaves me. How's uh, Mrs. Hilton, Captain Hilton? She was quite hysterical. I gave her a sedative. Captain Drummond. Yes, Kramer? You know, I consider myself a very lucky man. We're all very lucky, those of us who were left. Well, I, I owe you a great deal. If you hadn't been aboard, Gaines wouldn't have left in your boat before his work was finished. Now, I'm alive and headed home. You know, you can really thank Denny for this trip back to shore. He found the emergency flare gun that brought this Coast Guard cutter to our rescue. Well, maybe, Captain Drummond, I'm being just a little too optimistic, huh? What do you mean by that? Well, Gaines is still loose. You know as well as I do that he, he won't stop until he gets to me. Or at least makes a good stab at it. I wouldn't worry too much about Gaines if I were you, Kramer. When we boarded this cutter, I had the officer in charge send out an alarm to pick up my boat. I also had a radiogram sent to the California State Police. I don't think you or Mrs. Hilton will have anything more to fear from Gaines. But what if he escapes the police? Will we get protection? Oh, yes, yes. I'm taking care of that. I'm seeing to it that both you and Mrs. Hilton will be watched very closely. It's 
Claire, Charlie. I thought you'd never get up here to the lake. This is the first chance I had. Drummond's been having one of the city cops keeping an eye on me. What? You have someone on your trail and you come up here? You crazy fool. What's the matter with you? You want to ruin everything? Oh, don't get excited, Charlie, dear. That cop was only put there for my protection. He thought I went to bed. It was easy to slip out of the house. Ah, oh, there's not a thing to worry about, believe me. You sure, Claire? Mm-hmm. Charlie. What? Would you let me kiss your loving wife? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Such enthusiasm, really. Well, how do you expect me to feel? I spent years setting up a foolproof plan. Everything is set to go just right, perfect. And then that drumming comes along. Well, it was a bad brain. And all the trouble I go through so we can get what we want. I fake my way into a wheelchair. I kill Gaines when he gets out of prison. I fix it so he looks like the one they'll be after. I have that boat so I can get rid of my partners in a good, safe way. It was a good plan, Charlie. You'd have the business enough. We'd be on easy street for the rest of our lives. It's not too late, Claire. We still can be there. What do you mean? They'll still be looking for Gaines, just like I planned. Don't they? Yes. They think I'm dead, don't they? Oh, very dead, Charlie. All right. So I can still get what I want. We just have to change it a little bit, that's all. What are you going to do? The only one standing between us and the money is Kramer. I'll get Kramer like I did the rest. Well, what about you? You'll have to stay dead. That's the idea, Claire. With Kramer out of the way, the business goes to you. Now, that's the way I set the company up. You sell the business out. I meet you in Mexico. How does that sound to you, Claire? Well, to tell you the truth, Charlie, it doesn't sound too good. What do you mean? It sounds better to me if you were really dead. Huh? Really dead, Charlie. Like you're supposed to be really dead. Like this gun will make you. Oh. Hey, c- come on. Where you... Don't move, Charlie. What? What is this, Claire? What kind of a joke is this? Yeah, no joke, Charlie. It's no joke at all. I just don't like the idea of living with a dead man. I like an idea of my own better. I like the idea of having all that money for myself. You're going to be as dead as game, dear. I'll take care of Kramer myself. Never suspect me. Just as you can do it, games will be the one you'll suspect. Only dead men don't talk, do they, Charlie? They don't talk. How does that idea sound to you? Drop that on me. Well, Captain Drummond. I said drop it. Okay. All right, did he get it? Yes, sir. So, Mrs. Hilton, this is your dear departed husband. A cute couple, eh, Drummond? Yes, about as cute as a pair of rattlesnakes. No comment from the Hilton, sir. I'm sure the Hilton said much more than they cared to have anyone hear. It was very revealing listening. Didn't you think so? The jury will find it more damaging than revealing, Denny. And the Hilton, talking about damaging evidence, I've got something in my I want to show you. These heels. I removed them from the shoes I found in your cabin aboard the death ship. Struck me as rather peculiar that an invalid who had been confined to a wheelchair should have his heels run down in such a marked manner. I decided to let these heels follow in your wife's footsteps. As you see, Mrs. Hilton was most obliging. And uh, that, I'd say, about closes the matter, eh? Just about then. Oh, no, no, not quite. There's one more thing I did want to mention. These two were exchanging ideas a moment ago. But the court of law will still present an entirely different idea to the Hiltons. And I was just wondering how that idea is going to sound. 